Daniel, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and debug issues while developing your API by enabling execution logs in Amazon API Gateway. In those logs, you can see all the information from a request received by API Gateway and its response. This allows you to understand the issue and quickly fix it. Let's get started. Note, we need to follow these steps once per region. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway Console. In the API Gateway Console, select any API from the list of APIs and choose Settings in the bottom left of the page. For Amazon CloudWatch Log Role ARN, provide an ARN of a role that allows API Gateway to write to CloudWatch logs. This is necessary to be configured just once per region. The same role can be used in several different regions. To create that role, navigate to the AWS Identity and Access Management Console. On the left side pane, choose Roles and then choose Create Role. Select API Gateway AWS Service and choose Next Permissions. You see a policy pre-selected, Amazon API Gateway Push to CloudWatch Logs. This managed policy has the exact permissions that we need. Choose Next, Tags, and then choose Next, Reveal. Provide a meaningful name for that role name and an option role description. Finally, choose the Create Role button. Search again for the role we just created by entering its name on the search bar, and then choose it. Copy the role ARN. In the API Gateway Console, Select any API from the list of APIs and choose Settings in the bottom left of the page. Paste the role ARN in the CloudWatch Log Role ARN field. Choose Save. Note that you don't receive a notification that the setting was saved. You get a notification only if there is an error. Perform each of these steps for each API to enable logs in each API stage of interest. Choose Stages below Resources in the left side of the page. In the middle panel, select the stage that you're testing and want to enable the execution logs for. In the Stage Settings, choose Logs Tracing tab on the right panel. By default, logging on new stages is disabled. Choose the checkbox Enable CloudWatch Logs to enable it. For Log Level, you can select error or info. The error log level causes API Gateway to generate logs only for requests that result in an error response. The info log level logs all requests made to your API Gateway API. It's a best practice to also enable the option log full requests response data for REST APIs or log full message data for WebSocket APIs so that headers and part of the body of your requests and responses are also logged. This helps when you're troubleshooting unexpected responses from HTTP integration backends or errors in your AWS Lambda Proxy integration backend. Under Custom Access Logging, select the Enable Access Logging checkbox. For Access Log Destination ARN, enter the ARN of a CloudWatch log group or an Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose stream. Enter a log format. You can choose CLF, JSON, XML, or CSV to see an example in that format and further personalize it. Choose Save Changes. Note that you don't receive a notification that the setting was saved. You get a notification only if there is an error. Make a new request to your API Gateway API using your client application or a tool like Postman. Go back to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the CloudWatch Logs Console. Choose Log Groups on the left side panel. In the right side, you see several log groups. Select your API Gateway API log group, which has the following format. In the API Gateway log group, you can see several log streams. 
Each one is related to a request received by API Gateway. By choosing the one with the last event time, we can see the execution of the request we just performed and its relative information. Now, with the logs related to the request, we can investigate the problems with our API Gateway API and fix them faster. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.